fascination with science began very early when I was in school. I remember being completely gripped by why something happened the way it does, uh, why something is the way it is, why couldn't it be another way. I um, had a decision to make in the 12th standard between physics and biology because I thoroughly enjoyed both subjects. Um, and then I would say that uh, my experience with the development, with uh, watching how a small embryo can convolute itself and produce a really fantastic uh, complex creature. Um, that seemed to be so much more complex than anything I had ever encountered that I guess from that point on it was uh, biology. So what we are doing is we are trying to understand how the normal development of the brain happens in an embryo, what are the genetic mechanisms required to bring about all the various stages. In fact, we do not even know all of the detailed stages that are required to wire up a circuit. Uh, different circuits have different requirements and once we know how the normal brain works, we are able, better able to look at what happens when something goes wrong. We are better able to understand why a certain disorder might have occurred. I think I have the best job in the world. It's not a job, it's a passion. This is something that I live for. Every day I would wake up and think, what am I going to find new that I didn't know before or that anybody didn't know before. It's the best job in the world. Sometimes we think about these things at night, we get up at all odd hours with a thought or an idea and you write it down. I think it's a job where you can be as uh, imaginative, as creative. So this is what motivates me to get out of bed because every day I can explore the world with the wonder of a child. I would say special challenges that we face in biology are that we study biological systems, we study living systems. Uh, intrinsically the material we study is uh, messy. If you look at the cells of any system, they are full of all kinds of proteins. If you want to study your protein of interest, you have to work pretty hard at purifying it. Uh, our systems are prone to degradation. Likewise, we work with the living tissues, we work with model organisms that allow us to address questions in my field of brain development that would speak to how the human brain develops. So this means then that we have to care for the animals properly, we have to arrange for their food, their uh, sterile water supply and indeed the electricity that will keep their temperatures, the, the, the temperature of their housing appropriate. Those are the challenges that are I would say specific to biology that uh, other subjects may not face. I would like to see my long term vision as having trained scientists of the future. I enjoy training students and postdocs, working together with them. We discuss how an experiment might be best done, we discuss how an experiment could or should be done. So we do a lot of analysis of past experiments because each person who trains with me I hope will carry away a little bit of the energy and the passion and the excitement and the discipline of doing science, the focus of doing science. The relevance of a prize like this is really that the recognition makes the case to society that this area is important. Uh, it gives the opportunity to scientists such as myself to engage with the community and to share what we do. As a child, you have ever wondered about the world around you and how it is so and why it is so. You have the makings of a researcher. So I would say innate curiosity, the logic and the analytical power to frame that curiosity into questions and hypotheses, the discipline to acquire the training to do the experiments and the grit and the willingness to be able to just push through the times when things do not work, the times when other complications happen, the staying power to conclude the process, all these make a scientist. <laughs>